Hey there YouTube, Sup up here bringing you another Napoleon Total War online battle replay. This is a fight on the map Homestead, and I am actually versing my friend ShaneK902 again, and yeah, my name is Feel Darkness. So, this is actually a really interesting map, and I was surprised my friend actually chose it because his computer cannot handle a lot, and once again guys, uh, this is going to be a... Uh, small funds battle because my friend's computer cannot take anything more sorry about that but uh... still pretty darn cool so let's take a quick look at uh... my army here i have three sets of dutch flankers right here and uh... these guys are basically your light infantry so pretty cool i am using the un in this fight uh... the united netherlands which, um, I'll be honest, they, they suck. Uh, I do not like them at all, but uh, I just decided to uh, try this out. And uh, yeah, I have uh, three sets of these Dutch flankers, and there are my light infantry, as I said. Then I have one, two, three. Okay, so two sets of line infantry. These guys, they are very cool. I actually really like their outfits. Pretty classical. And then I have one, two, three sets of militiamen. And these are the uh, militia line infantry that uh, is available to the United Netherlands. They're called militiamen. Pretty cool. One of them has an experience chevron because uh, militia needs that. But I didn't have enough money to give it to all of them. I just gave it to one. And finally I have my generic general staff unit. Which one is he? Is it him? No, no, here he is. He's the one with the medals. Pretty cool. There he is. And I gotta say, I'm really used to Shogun 2, where uh, it just starts you off right um, after the um, deployment screen, which is uh, very handy. But uh, regardless, we'll just put it in triple speed. It doesn't take uh, too long, I don't think. Yeah, so battle has started here and my friend has chosen the Russians for this fight so let's take a look at his army here he has three sets of various Jaegers one is uh, the elite 17th Jaeger regiment these guys right here they're pretty cool and then two sets of a Russian Jaeger so these guys are just the uh, good old regular old Jaeger pretty cool then he has one main unit of line and he brought them in uh, elite format they are lifeguard foot and that drum is really loud I did actually uh, turn down the uh, volume of the game so you guys could hear me better because I noticed it was a little loud but uh, man that drum still seems really loud to me anyway Lifeguard afoot. These guys are pretty darn awesome, very elite, and they will clearly be extremely effective against my United Netherlands troops, because United Netherlands is not a fantastic faction by any means. Then he has a historical general. He has Count Von Benningsen, and that is this guy right here with his medals. Pretty cool. He looks pretty old. Seems like all the generals on here look old, though. Then he has three sets of these Opal Shene, Opal Shini, something like that. And these guys are a militia. Pretty cool. Got have a drum there. Gosh, that, that just seems really loud to me. Anyway, you can see that he's moving all of his militia over to uh, his right, opposite my left. And he was planning a huge flank assault, which you'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll see whether or not it goes as planned. But uh, anyway, what I have decided to do, this map is clearly very interesting. I'm going to uh, actually pause it here for a second. This map has a ton of strategic positions. They have some little uh, hills or little ridges such as this. This is the biggest uh, ridge on the uh, map here though because it's very useful. You can see that uh, this ridge has a clear opening to his uh, Russians. And there's also this little choke point here. So there's some good uh, strategic positions you can take. And uh, put it back in play here. And I decided to take full advantage of this. I uh, put my Dutch Flankers, one of my light infantry units, right in this little choke point that I was telling you guys about. 
and they're going to start opening up here in just a second. So let's watch this. At least I think they're going to. The uh, Russians are almost in range now, I think. Also, I have my Dutch flankers over there, up on that um, cliff or ridge, whatever you want to call it. And watch this. Oh man, that was loud. Oh, that's epic. But I also have these guys up on the ridge, and they are firing down right into his Jaegers, and this is actually really good positioning. They can see the Russians very well. Well, not the guys in the back, but these guys up in front can easily. So we are exchanging some fire with each of our light infantry. I also have uh, moved up this unit of Dutch flankers to uh, shoot at his militia, his Opel Shaney. And I am also rushing up two sets of line infantry to start a little fight over here. Because he is shooting me in the side with these uh, Russian Jaegers here. I'll get you guys plenty of close-ups. Look at that. Brutal, guys. Yeah, basically at this point I'm rushing in my uh, line infantry as quickly as possible because I need to uh, get these guys off my flank. He has started uh, firing with his militia over on my uh, Dutch flankers, but I have uh, taken one unit of my line infantry that I sent over here, and I'm going to start shooting those uh, militia. Let's watch this, guys. I don't think I'm actually in range yet. I may be. I'm guessing not. Um, no, I'm in range. Damn, look at that. Pretty epic. And over here, my uh, line infantry is going head-to-head -head with two units of his Jaegers. One of them is actually his elite 17th Jaeger regiment. And my general is actually under attack, but that is just a stray bullet coming from his militia that hit one of my uh, general's bodyguard. And look at that, that's actually a guy right next to my general. I got pretty lucky there. Uh, very sad for that dude, but uh, at least I did not lose my general, because that would have really sucked. So let's get some close-ups. Whoa, really loud. Anyway, here are some close-ups here. Very cool. And my skirmisher is still going at it with his. You can see that mine have a very good vantage point over here. They're getting fired in upon here. And I also have these uh, these uh, Dutch flankers, as I said, up on this ridge, taking some very nice uh, shots. And uh, these guys in the back can't see too well, but uh, they can still uh, shoot, at least I hope so, but uh, yeah, that's basic idea. And over here, he rushed over this unit of militia, and he's going to make an attempt on my uh, flank, but I rush over two units of uh, militiamen to uh, thwart his advance, it, oh man, sorry, thwart his advance, and I'm going to start firing over on them, but uh, I'm actually just hitting this little... Uh, bit of land here so I can't really shoot his um his little Russian militia yet but now I will be able to because he is charging forward so watch this guys here comes the Russians over the cliff bonsai but uh yeah I guess my friend actually decided to start pulling them back seeing that that wouldn't have worked and uh, I basically rushed my militia over the cliff a little bit more and there you can see the positions. You can uh, see the positions of where your units are going by holding down spacebar. If you guys uh, wanted to know that. And I'm basically going to line up my infantry for a nice little shooting. So watch this. You just need to line up here. And watch this, guys. Boom. I just dropped like 10 guys from that militia unit, which is pretty good. And over here, he has moved up his lifeguards, his uh, lifeguard afoot, and they are shooting into my, oh, trees, trees. Uh, they are just destroying my line infantry and my uh, Jaegers, or not Jaegers, but Dutch flankers, light infantry. Over here, this uh, skirmish fight is still going on. You can see a lot of his Russian Jaegers are dead. See a lot of my Dutch flankers are dead. So it's pretty even. Our men are running, and some of my men are running, and that's actually over here. And look at my general. He actually got caught in some pretty nasty fire, and he lost qu quite a few men. And I was concerned about him routing, because he's at, like, low as hell morale. So I need to rush him out of there. Which kind of sucks, because uh, my Dutch flankers are still shooting, and the morale is going to drop from me not being as close as I would like to be. So way in the back, he also has another unit of this militia, Old Pesheni. 
and he's going to move those up eventually but not quite yet but basically I have to take out these lifeguards if I take out these lifeguards life will be much simpler for me you can see I still have a lot of units and I'm also moving down this unit of uh, militia so basically what I decide to do is I see an opening I'm gonna charge uh, up two units of my militiamen up to these lifeguards flank while they're still shooting at my uh, light infantry and my light infantry's morale is going down really fast so what I decide to do is I'm gonna move up my general just a bit just to uh, get their morale up a little bit higher as much as I can would be helpful but you can see that morale just took a huge blow and they are going to route here in just a second and right there they did but my militia just got into position so that is just perfect for me and watch this guys gonna be pretty cool I'll put it in slow motion for this so let's watch as my men open fire and here we go watch this boom down they go all right back into regular speed you can see a very uh, cool fight here my men have a good angle of fire, but now he has his uh, lifeguard shooting at me, which kind of sucks. They also just gained a chevron, which really sucks, but um, my militia is really hurting on morale, which really sucks even more. So I uh, brought up this unit of extra militiamen to fire into his Jaegers over here, his uh, elite Jaegers. His general is still back here, and he uh, has his whole full unit, which really sucks, because uh, killing his general would have been very helpful, but I didn't ever see an opening. Back here he finally decides to activate his militia and he's going to charge up on my flank. And his lifeguards actually ran out of ammo so they're going to charge in a melee style with my uh, militia. Which I did not like because I actually had the advantage with numbers on my side. But uh, now it really sucks for me because uh, my militia are going to get torn up by uh, superior lifeguards. Like I mean lifeguards are elite. So I see this as a huge danger zone, so that militia unit I sent to deal with his Jaegers, I'm going to turn around, put on this cliff, and they're going to start opening fire. But uh, I don't think I'm in range quite yet. And you can see that my men's morale is dropping radically, because he is shooting me in the back of all of this militia. All men are running, sir. And those militia units have a lot of men each unit. They have 120, when uh, typically, uh, actually a lifeguard unit still has 120, but it just looks bigger in a line like this. It's pretty... Uh, yeah, I don't know, the militia looks kind of menacing in that kind of a line for whatever reason. You can see his lifeguards have been highly depleted, but they now have two chevrons, which is even worse. But now, my militia are shooting right into this bulk of lifeguards. And I actually get a uh, two killed there. And yeah, that's the basic idea of what's going on right now. I also have this unit of line infantry firing in. And I'm just trying to keep these guys back. And uh, I'm shooting at them as they're coming in, but it's pretty darn dangerous. So what I decide to do is run my line infantry away and get as many shots in on these uh, lifeguards as I can. Unfortunately, he does have these uh, Jaegers right behind my uh, militiamen, but I find that his lifeguards are a much more deadly uh, focus on his army. So he's going to charge his lifeguards around, and I don't think I get any more shots I put my guys uh, I tell my guys to get ready for melee and they do and I'm going to uh, now take the fight to him One of our units has used and I'm also going to up. rush up this unit of line infantry from behind here and they're gonna line up to shoot him down let's watch this yep actually they need to reload, load but Yep, pretty much. You just saw they got the pistol there fire. Pretty cool. And both our men's morale is really wavering because they do. Because uh, my friend does have this uh, Russian Jaeger on my flank, and I have this line infantry on his flank. Also, he is rushing in this uh, militia unit now to support as well. But from this angle, he'll be shooting his own troops, so I'm not too worried about that. I decided to charge my general around and uh, do a little bit of disruption with my general because it's really dangerous like this. I charge my general right into his 17th Jaeger regiment in an attempt to uh, break them. Very difficult uh, work, uh, diff very difficult job to do though. And at this point, this unit of um, Dutch flankers is out of ammo, and I didn't really notice it at the time. But I believe this uh, unit here, nope, actually they're not out of ammo, but, uh, or maybe they are. I don't know, I can't really tell. 
But anyway, uh, yeah, we're all just kind of running out of ammo very quickly at this point. And you can see that he still does have that whole unit of Alpasheni, which is really terrible for me. Men and yeah, he can see that he is uh, breaking my men at this rate. So I decide to just continue the pressure with my Dutch flankers up on this ridge. But now I'm running kind of low on ammo. And look at this, um, in the last ditch, ditch effort, I decided to try to kill his general. Because that was my best chance. I actually took out three of them, but uh, not his general. So, Let's see, where is Count Von Benningsen? There he is, right in the back here. There he is right there. And he uh, escapes this battle with his life, unfortunately. So this Dutch Lankur unit that ran out of ammo, I'm going to charge in a melee style of his Russians. And uh, my friend notices this and he's going to respond with a charge. But uh, it's not going to be uh, very effective from either of us because obviously they're both light infantry. I charge my general over here because he has his general over here and that's just uh, giving me tons of problems. So uh, I run over here and uh, my men's morale has definitely gone up a ton. And my men also gain a chevron, as do my opponent's uh, Russian Jaegers. And I bring my general really close to the fight. I need as much of a morale boost as is possible. And basically, the last unit that he has left for me to worry about is this militia. So I bring my Dutch flankers over here to do some shooting. And um, these guys are really low on ammo, but um, nothing too major. So basically... Uh, it's a pretty even fight right now between uh, my troops and his, and uh, it, it's going to come down to the wire, that's for sure. So my uh, Dutch Lankers are out of ammo, so I decided to put them into um, line infantry formation, and uh, they're going to prepare for a charge down this little ridge, although these guys are light infantry, don't forget that because that's important. And I decided to charge down now. Now, I did not know something about these guys, and I'll show you that in a second. He's going to stop him here in just a moment, and I'll show you what I didn't know about this. They actually still have ammo. I could have swore these guys ran out of ammo just like everyone else, but actually they uh, did not. They actually didn't get like any, hardly any kills. They got two, three, four, and eh, five. Alright, so they got six of my men on the, uh, on the shooting. And now I finally got into melee with them. And uh, yeah, there's going to be some pretty... There's, there's going to be some severe havoc going on. But uh, yeah, I have my general over here. And I am uh, rushing over this remaining uh, Dutch Lankurs that was successful in defeating his Jaegers. I need as much manpower as I can muster. And he does have his general coming over here. And he's going to make an attempt on my general, which sucks. Because uh, if I lose my general, I'm in deep trouble. I don't know what my guys are doing. They intend to take the charge. Half my men ran this way when, I, like I told them to. And then the other two just decided, okay, I'm staying here. And I'm going to accept the charge. Not quite sure what the uh, reasoning behind that was. Nevertheless, I have my uh, Dutch Lankurs charging into melee as well. And these Russian Jaegers are actually... Uh, not Russian Jaegers. These are Russian... Uh, militia are actually beating me uh, because obviously they are even though they're militia they're still uh, trained with line infantry tactics and my guys are light infantry so I trick his general back over into my well, light infantry geez, to go in awesome melee history. style which uh, not work too much because uh, they're about to route here unfortunately I mean I tried but uh, yeah they just routed and uh, there's not much I can do about that at this point and you can see that this battle is going south for me really fast. He also has this uh, Jaeger unit on my flank. And these guys are actually going to start firing on my flank, which really sucks. But in a last ditch effort, I charge my general right into them. And uh, a lot of them go flying. This one got a decent amount of distance. Whoa. Alright, he got up. Never mind. That just uh, kind of scared me. But uh, yeah. He uh, just got up because uh, apparently he didn't die off that charge. But in any case, uh, my... Dutch uh, flankers are doing as well as can be expected. They are uh, holding their ground, but uh, there's only 42 of them left, and there is 82 militia left, so it's 2 to 1, basically. My general is doing everything he can. He's uh, rushing to the aid of my men whenever that, whenever he can. He's uh, running down the rest of the uh, enemy Jaegers, and that, that's about all I can hope for at this point. 
And this is where the battle ends. He charges, my uh, friend charges his general right into my light infantry. And that is game over. I'll yep, so there he goes. And I decide to no longer run around with my general anymore. I'm going to give him the, the death that he deserves. And that's in combat. Because that's the only honorable way to go in this line of work. So I charge him right into this huge mass of men. And he's going to die right there. So there he is, heroic death. This noble general has died bravely whilst directing his forces in battle, weakening your cause considerably. All right, so very good game to my friend there, Shane K902. I deployed 888 men, got 734 losses, and killed 492 men. My friend deployed 768 men, lost 536, and had 708 men remaining. Very, very close battle, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Here is the uh, unit statistics if you want to take a look at that. Like I said, there's not many units in this fight because it is small scale. But hope you guys enjoyed that. See ya.